Hi guys, today we are reviewing the Accurist MB935N sports watch. In the review we'll be going through the style, features as well as dimensions. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> So this watch comes in one of the older style Accurist boxes. You've got the outer cardboard, which goes around the edge all the way around. Accurist tells us it's recyclable. You've then got the black inner cardboard box with a sort of a pull-off top. We then have our watch on a little cushion. It's a nice black cushion with a watch on it. And we have a few bits of Bob's instruction book and a tape measure to measure your wrist. The instruction book on a lot of these Acuris watches is just one for virtually whole range. So again, it's a range that covers a lot of different watches in one book. And it tells us where this one actually came from originally, it came from the watch hut. Okay, so as you can see, the watch is a stainless steel chronograph watch. We've got a stainless steel case. It's a mix between brushed and polished so we've got a polished edge to it you then get on the shoulders a little bit of a brushed part here and then it goes back in for a second into a polished bit same around the other side this side is a little bit more noticeable because you've got the polished crown and the pushers for the chronograph so you've got the polished edge to the watch here bit of brushed on the shoulder and then polished part again and then brushed on the bracelet the bracelet has this knurled finish to the links in the middle so you've got two links running down the middle and brushed on either side we have a flip over deployment clasp so it's a locking deployment clasp unclips pops open we've got a fair few adjustment points four little adjustment points here so if we need to adjust it it's a stainless steel clasp of course as is the bracelet and the whole watch is stainless steel it tells us that here on the back we've still got the protection sticker on the back of this watch because this watch is unworn and it tells us here it's all stainless steel tells us which model it is and it is water resistant to 50 meters so again it's a clip on back it's not a screw down back so it's water resistant means it's splash proof and you probably could go out in the rain that sort of thing but i wouldn't go swimming with it and i wouldn't wear it in the bath or something like that so it's just splash proof realistically the knurled finish you can see also though comes onto the crown so that knurled finish which is in the bracelet here you also see on the crown as well and then when we come around to the face we get it on the edge of the bezel it's a non-rotating bezel but it's got the knurled finish to it and then it's got sort of a we've got sort of like notches to give it a little bit look like it would turn but it doesn't it's fixed the face itself is a lovely sunray deep blue we've got a matte lighter blue shoulder and we've got white numbers so it's just for the hours and the minutes so you've got 60 10 20 and so on that's i said that's a lighter blue you then got the blue face with white markers for the minutes silver battens with luminous paint on for the hours you've got another ring on the inside so you've got a silver or polished should we say chrome ring going around the inside which goes halfway through the middle of the date window the date window is a chrome surround with a white background and black numbers so then you've got your accurate branding and the little notification that it's water resistant to 50 meters in silver and then you've got your three sub dials the sub dial at six o'clock is the seconds the dial at the top is 24 hours to tell you where you are in the day and the dial over at nine o'clock is for counting minutes on the chronograph but that is in the same matte finished non-polished blue that the little surround is so it's not as shiny as the rest of the watch whereas the other dials are in this beautiful summary finish the chronograph is pretty standard as with all chronographs you have the top button to start it off so you push the top one so that starts off the little dial down the bottom as you can see that's ticking away to count the seconds as i said if it goes around to a full minute then the other dial here at nine o'clock then comes into play and will go around so we can time up to a full hour press the top one to stop it and the bottom one down here the lap counter and reset now this watch is part of a set this is the 935 range now accurate do a few watches in this 935 range i didn't know so many of them i already have one of them so i have the 935y which is the yellow version so that's this watch here now i've had this watch for some time and actually quite a long time i've had this watch for a good few years maybe five six years something like that um bought this brand new out of h samuels in the uk it was on a 50 percent off deal 
and they got it in specifically for me, which is one of the nice things that watch dealers like that will do. Some of these watch dealers don't keep everything in stock. So if you ask them, you say, I've seen it on the website, I quite like the look of it, but I'm not sure if I want it, they will actually order it in for you to look at. And in this case, as soon as I saw it, I bought it. I thought, yeah, it's brilliant, I want it. Um, didn't know they did a blue. And this is obviously the blue version. The blue, strange enough, on accurate watches, blue is denoted by N. So this one is the 935Y, this one is the 935N. Now they do also do this watch in other styles. They do a black face, they do a sort of grey face, they do gold faces, white faces, also gold cases and titanium coloured cases. So there's quite a few of these watches. I didn't realise there was as many as there is. So I'm keeping my eyes open, keeping a lookout and see what's actually available because I do quite like the look of them. They're a nice big watch nice to wear on the wrist and they're nice looking easy to read the time and they're very stylish not all of the models have the knurled finish some of them have a flat finish so there's no knurled bits said some of the gold ones have gold in the strap so they're all slightly different but the face is always the same if we come to the sizes the face of the watch is 36 millimeters the case which is going across the bezel is 42 millimeters including the crown it's 45 millimeters in total the width of the bracelet is 20 millimeters from this lug here. Depth wise, it's not a very thick watch. It's a big watch, but it's only 11 millimeters from front to back. So again, it's not that deep. And weight wise though, because it's all stainless steel and it's stainless steel bracelet as well as watch, it does weigh 125 grams. So it's a nice substantial watch and a watch you know you're wearing, but a very stylish and very nice looking watch. What with the others in the range, I will keep a look out and I will try and add more to this collection. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the review. If you do, please hit the like button down below. Please think about subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next load of videos. Thanks again. Bye-bye.